What is going on UFC card lovers? Welcome back here to UFC Card Talk for another episode. My name is Damien and here at UFC Card Talk we talk about everything to do with UFC cards from collecting to investing to recent prices and also recent UFC card hobby news. Speaking of which we do have upcoming this week on December 13th the release of the anticipated UFC Don Russ Optic product. It is the first time that Don Russ Optic has had a release for UFC. It is not the first time we have seen Optic products for UFC. Last year in the 2021 Chronicles product, they did have these Optic Contenders season ticket products. Here is a guy who I PC, Kevin Holland. Here is an example of that card. But it will be the first official release for Optic UFC. Zach over at Box Alarm Trading, he's just done a great video on that, going over the checklist, going over the parallels for that set. Go over, check that video out if you guys haven't already. This week we are going to be talking about the upcoming Fight Night event, Sean Strickland versus Jared Cannonier, going over some of the fighters from that card. That card's actually quite good, there's some great fights on that card, so excited to go over those recent card pricing. That event, of course, is the last event for UFC until January 15th next year so over the next coming weeks i will be still putting out weekly videos going over a few different topics in the ufc card community that i'm super excited to talk about but for now let's get into this upcoming fight night event sean strickland versus jared cannonier even some of the fights on the prelims from this card are really good including a fight involving jake matthews and another fight including saeed nagamanov who we will be going over his recent card prices because he is a relatively new rookie from the 2021 Prism product. So we're going to start it off with Saeed's prices. Obviously, Saeed sharing the last name Namagamanov, he is actually not related to Khabib, but, but he still is a very exciting young fighter in the Bantamweight division. We're going to start off with 2021 Silver Prism. It's a PSA 9, best offer accepted, less than $50. We have his copy of his Red Prism from 2021. Buy it now, $30 on November 24th. We have an SGC 10 of his 2021 Rookie Silver Prism, less than $60. We've got a PSA 10 of his Blue Rookie Prism. Buy it now for $100 on November the 10th. We have his Rookie Orange Prism, the Poor Man's Gold. It's a PSA 9, sold on October 29th for $26 under 9 bids. We had two weeks before that, it sold for $45 for one bid. A lot of the rookie parallels here for Saeed. We have his 1 of 8. This is a big card for him, his rookie card. It's a PSA 8 though, unfortunately. $212.50 on October the 9th after 23 bids. So as we're scrolling through here, we can see just a lot more sales for his colored prism cards. They're going to be what's popular. So he is fighting on the prelim card. We'll check out, we'll go over to the main card now. We'll the first fight on the main card I want to check out is Arma Zukian versus Demir Ismagulov. This is going to be an absolute crazy fight in the lightweight division. I'm super excited for this one. Almost more excited for this one than the main event, I would say. We'll start off. With Demir, his rookie prism was also from 2021 product. He is an absolute animal, this guy. So we'll start off with his red prism from 2021. It was a PSA 9, $30 up to one bit, December 7th. We have his lucky envelopes from 2022. It's his second year prism card, $31 nine bits. That's out of eight, that card. We have his pink pulsar, it's a PSA 9. Best offer accepted, less than $100. We have a SGC 9 of the Orange Prism from 2021, $19.50, five bids. What I actually really like about his Rookie Prism is it's a vertical card. Obviously, some fighters, unfortunately, this is just my opinion. Um, I know a lot of you guys think the same, but I really, really prefer the vertical cards. They just display so much nicer, especially when they're graded. So the fact that his Rookie Prism is a vertical card, I really like that. The same thing for Demir. He is showing a lot of Rookie Colored Prisms on the recent sales. We have a silver one here, another PSA 9, $30 one bid. We have the Green Pulsar. I really like these cards. So I think they suit some fighters better than others. $58, 15 bids, October 12th. 
We're going to go over his paint now, Arman Kazuki. And there's some guys in the UFC Instagram car community who are really high on this guy and for good reason. He is another fantastic, exciting young fighter in the lightweight division. We're going to start off. He sold December 9th, $9.50, 7 bids. It's his rookie prism from 2022, PSA 9, $9.50. Not a bad entry card there for someone to pick up. It's purple out of 149, $36, 32 bids, December 7th. We have his red laser from Donruss 2022, $3.99, one bid, November 28th. His teal prism here, which actually looks like a green card, which actually looks green to be honest. 23 bids, $96. With his cracked ice, it's a PSA 10, best offer accepted, less than $300. All we have here, it's the 2022 Donruss Hollow Black Laser, one of one. So we can see it was best offer accepted, less than $800. What I wanna do is I wanna check out how much this card actually sold for. Go over to 130 point, and we can see here that his 2022, it's the same card, the black, laser prism one of one the sale price actually was four hundred dollars so that's interesting to note that someone has got this card for 50 percent of asking price so obviously a little bit of a tip there for you guys who are new to the hobby who have just started getting in some of these cards are actually you don't have to pay what the asking price is um, and especially at the moment with the market being a little bit lower you can get some really cool cards of some um, upcoming fighters for literally 50% off of the asking price. The asking price for this card is obviously a little bit higher in my opinion. It's a Don Russ, it's not like it's his Prism product. Um, although it's still a one of one and the laser cards are really cool, I personally like them. But just keep that in mind. When you come in with offers, you don't have to be within that 10, 20%. You can go as low as 50, percent of asking price and you can still have an accepted offer another psa 9 52 dollars of his blue prism 16 bids november 20th we have his gold 10 of 10 it's his mezzanine best offer accepted less than 350 dollars so this would be another card that'll be interesting to check out so we can see here that that was actually a best offer accepted price of 200 dollars for that mezzanine gold but once again almost Probably a good 30, 40% off that card. Now we'll move over to the main event now. Sean Strickland versus Jared Cannonier. Both of these guys coming off losses. Sean Strickland is one of the more captivating fighters, one of the bigger characters, especially in the middleweight division. But he is coming off a loss, a knockout loss to the new champion, Alex Pereira. He is a rookie from 2022. So let's see how his pricing have been doing. We have a rookie autograph from Don Russ, $49, December the 7th. We have the red auto cracked ice out of 25, best offer accepted, less than $160. We have his hyper prism from 2022, less than $5. His tie dye mezzanine from Select, best offer accepted, less than $9. That was from Gobble UFC cards. Shout out to the Gobble. Fantastic family within the UFC card community, both on eBay and also on their Instagram. We have a copy of his base prism card here, PSA 10, $10.50, 10 bids November 24th. I'm actually surprised to see that someone went to the effort to grade a Sean Strickland. They obviously had big plans for that base prism card. 2022 select, Zebra prism, 30 bids, $79, November 22nd. We have his orange premier level select, $9.50, 6 bids, November 16th. We'll go over now to his opponent, Jared Cannonier. Jared Cannonier, you're going to find his rookie card in the Tops product. It's escaping me what year. I believe it's 2018 off the top of my head. It could be 2019 as well, but I'm sure we'll see one in the list of sales. Starting off with the most recent, sold December 9th. It's a 2022 Action Signatures Red out of 99, $5.54 bids. It's 2021. It's the Blue Auto, $20.50, 16 bids, December 8th. We have a 2020. It's a Knockout Relic. With the auto, $5.52 bids, December 5th. We have his Lucky Envelopes from 2022 Prism, $46.17 bids, December 4th. There we have it. It's a copy of his base, 2019 Tops Chrome, $1.50, December 2nd. We have his Gold Disco from 2022 Select, 6 of 10, $31, 16 bids, November 29th. We have the Octagon Prism from 2021 First Year Prism, 
It's a one of eight, $32 five bids, November 25th. So not really surprised to see Jared Cannon there. He is definitely one of the top fighters in the middleweight division, but he did come up short in his recent fight against the then champ Israel Adesanya, going the full distance. We have a copy of his first autograph from 2019 Tops Chrome, $6.50, six bids. So definitely some good buys here if you are a fan of Jared Cannonier and you want to start buying some of his cards. You can definitely get some great entry cards here at some very low prices. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. A little bit shorter, but as I said, don't forget, if you're liking this content, if you really enjoy UFC cards, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and definitely hit that notification bell. As I said, I do have some upcoming videos that I'm going to be doing over the next four weeks, getting away from the UFC events and getting more into individual pricing, getting into some guys who I think are currently good buys, and looking down the pipeline of 2023 UFC card products. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again next week.